Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Today I am finally getting to these little Easter cutouts that I got at Dollar Tree. Um, Easter's like in a few days and I'm so far behind between everything that's been going on with hospitals and then I had to go and fall and hurt my ankle. You know, I'm just a mess. But anyway, we're going to do these quick and easy projects for any of you guys that got these and might still have them all hanging around and don't know what to do with them. Maybe this can like maybe spark a little idea or something. This little guy here, I'm just going to tell you what I'm going to paint these. I'm going to paint these off camera because it's going to take me quite a while to get all these painted up here. But you guys know how to paint. I'm just using my Dollar Tree paint brushes. Whatever paint you have on hand, I'm just using random stuff. I'm using some chalk paint, some acrylic paint whatever colors, you know, that I like best. Now this little guy, I'm going to paint him all white. I've been in here sketching him with a pencil. These pencils are like my best friend from Dollar Tree. These little retractable, well, not retractable, whatever they are. <laughs> pencils with the white erasers. Um, I drew out his ear here that I'm going to, you know, put a little pink in there and separate the ear so you can see it. I'm just making them a little sleepy eye because, you know, my hands are awful right now as far as trying to do a nice detailed eye or anything. Give him a little detail in his mouth. That's going to be a little pink nose. And I'm going to try and find, I know I have this little big bunny tail somewhere um, to put on him there. So that's what I'm going to do with this one here. This one I am going to paint white uh, only because I'm going to decoupage this napkin. I'm dying to try out these napkins I picked up at Dollar Tree the other day. So that egg is getting painted white just for that purpose. You can paint the backs. You don't have to paint the backs. I don't think I'm going to paint the back, backs this time only because of time's sake here. <laughs> I've got to get this stuff done. Then I picked up this carrot one. These are so nice. These are all in, in the um, Easter section. I don't know. They might be different in your stores. Every store is different. So some might be in the crafter square section, but these were all in my Easter section. And the top of this carrot, I'm going to paint with this Lime, what is it? Limeade, apple barrel limeade paint. Like I said, any paint you got. And then the bottom part I'm going to paint white because I am going to decoupage this pretty orange, it's a peachy orange napkin, Dollar Tree, in the um, spring section there. So I'm going to, I thought that would be very different for the bottom of this one, but the rest of it, like the sides and the front, I'm just going to, I mean, this part I'm going to paint white, this part I'm going to paint with that limeade. And then we have our little chick here. Now this little guy, he's just getting painted. I had some of this Martha Stewart paint left. This I picked up at Dollar Tree a couple years ago. Um, they must have had a clear out or whatever. But um, what is this called? Um, Martha Stewart satin acrylic paint. Uh, I don't know what the color is called. Whatever. It's yellow. <laughs> So I'm going to paint the little chick here yellow. I'm going to paint his feet and his beak with this. Um, this is Craft Smart. This is from Michael's. Uh, what color are we? Why can't, oh, burnt orange. This is the burnt orange. It's not like a real bright, bright orange. I love that. And I'm going to do his little beak and his little feet. And then again, another little sleepy eye. Because I want my bunny and my chick are kind of going in the same place. And then these other decoupage will be at a different spot in my house. So, um... I just got to get them all done. That's all I can say. I mean, we're days away here. But you know, if you're not, don't want to do any more Easter DIYs, right? Just put this on the back burner until next year. They always have this kind of stuff out. Now, this is the wreath rail I picked up. A lot of people are calling this a towel rack. I don't know if I didn't explain that, but these are actually meant to make a wreath with. But you could absolutely use these for a little towel rack in your kitchen if you wanted to hang one of your little decorative towels. Now these are kind of flimsy. I always say if you're going to put these outside or something, buy two of them, get some wood glue, glue them together, and it makes a much sturdier wreath rail. But I am not putting them outside. They are staying in the house. We are just going to paint this with this um, pink parfait. I love this real bright, bright pink. So bright, bright pink peep on the top. And then down here, we're going to decorate it with some flowers and some moss and stuff. I don't like using the uh, mesh and stuff from Dollar Tree because it pretty much hides most of the wreath rail uh, when you're done. I mean, even your little guy up here. And I don't want to hide him too much so because he's the star of the show. So anyway, that is going to get painted pink. Um, I don't think I'm even going to bother painting this. You could if you wanted to. But this I'm going to have all covered up with stuff so you're not even going to see it. So... Um, if you do, you're kind of wasting your time. 
because you're never going to see the color underneath. And I'm going to put a little hanger of some sort back here, probably just a little uh, pipe cleaner or something. I'm going to hot glue back there, just or a piece of wire, something. I don't know yet. We'll see. Let's get all these painted first. But anyway, yeah, this is going to be my little pink parfait. And we're just going to do them up like a little peep with the little um, dot eye and dot nose. And that's it. It's going to be cute little peep. So I wanted a pink peep. So let me get started getting at least just all the paint on these. And then we'll come back. We'll get that decoupage done on there. And then we can finish putting the little details on the rest of these. So after I get all this paint on here, I will be right back. All right, I got everything painted here that I'm going to paint. This is the egg. I just did this one with white. I did two coats on here, just mainly so it makes these um, images from this napkin pop. Uh, same here. I did two. I only did one on the top. The sides, they really suck in the paint. I'll tell you what, that's that MDF board. But it is, um, it does have a veneer on it like a, like a wood on the top. So that paints up nice and easy. But these sides, they just suck in the paint. So that's how I painted that little guy. And then we have our little chick here that we're going to finish up. Is she cute? This paint too took forever. I didn't realize how much of a high gloss. It says satin, but it's really, really, really shiny. Um, and it took forever to dry the second coat. But that's how I painted up the little chick. I know I got this up close here because I want you guys to see how I'm going to do these. Um, and then we have the bunny here. I just did two coats of the white. Actually, I did two coats on the side of this one, too, because it was really just not looking nice. But I just add the little pink ears, little pink nose. We're going to do a little bit more here with the eyes and some whiskers and decorations. And this um, wreath rail, this is going to be the last one I do. I got this two coats on here of that. What color was that? It's really pretty. Pink Parfait, it's called. Um, apple Barrel. Um, so I got two coats on there. But this is going to be the messiest part of this DIY project, so we're going to do that one last. So let's get these ones that we're going to decoupage first. Um, we're going to do this nice and quick and easy. And somebody was talking about these napkins the other day too, and I, I totally agree. A lot of these napkins only have the print like right here in the center. You open them up, the rest of it's white. These are not like that. I was pleasantly surprised. These napkins have the print all the way on the whole napkin. I was like, yay! So I just traced around the edge here of the egg, and um, same with the carrot here. We're going to put this piece on this carrot, and we're going to do this egg first. But I made it a lot bigger, because we're going to sand the edges off of the nail file. That's the easiest way to do it. So, if, oh, you know what? I have to shut my fan off. I have my fan on in here. This is just going to blow this napkin and make me mad. I know it is. So, there. Let me shut that off. Um, trying to get that paint to dry. So anyway, we're going to take, these are two ply napkins. We're going to take the one ply off, save this over here. I like to use that when I have some messes. And then we are just going to take some Mod Podge here. I'm going to use the gloss Mod Podge. You can use the matte if you want to. But that is what I am using for these decoupage projects. Then you're going to need yourself a brush. I just have one of these, my favorite Dollar Tree brushes. Well, you can barely see that on the white background. But anyway, I'm going to put a nice light coat here all over this egg. And um, hopefully, hopefully, it's going to lay down nicely for me. It has some wrinkles in it, the napkin itself. Ugh. You know what, these paint brushes, after I soak them in water for a while, this the paint on the handles want to come off. So I want to be careful that we don't pull them off. Okay, so don't need a lot just to get this thing set. So let's see what kind of luck I'm going to have today. So I already have this cut out. I just cut it out a lot bigger than I needed. And we are just going to start down here at the bottom and just lay this down. Um, and that is working out wonderfully. So there you go. That is laid down nicely on there. This is so pretty. I love this napkin. I'm so happy I didn't have to piece this together. And it was just one big piece. And now I'm going to go over top of this whole thing with the Mod Podge to get this to stay down nicely. And you're going to have to be careful because some of these napkins are pretty, pretty, pretty delicate. So. But I'm just going to give it a good coat. It'll soak right through to the back, and it'll really seal this on good. Make sure you get your edges real good, because we're going to sand these off later. 
big bubble there. There we go, all gone. But this is such an easy little project to do. All right, yeah, that worked out great. I didn't know how that big piece was gonna go on here, if I was gonna make a mess or whatever, but it worked out really good. Like I said, make sure you get your edges real good because when you sand that off, you don't want any of these edges to like lift up on you. I'm just gonna go around those one more time. And I'm gonna try to get my brush strokes going in the same direction. Be generous with your Mod Podge too, because you know, you don't want it to pull, it'll rip the napkin if, if you don't use enough. So just make sure you use lots. All right, now we're gonna push that little guy to the side. You don't want to stick that down on your sides either because then it's a real pain trying to get it off. All right, let's shove you over here out of the way to dry. I'm going to need some more Mod Podge and I'm going to do the carrot. That one I did a little teeny bit different, not much. I'll show you here in one second. The only thing I did different on this was uh, I cut like a little U shape here to fit right here where it's going to go because you can't get in there and sand that off. So you got to make that fit just right there. So that's the only difference with this guy. And then you can kind of fill this in with a little paint to hide the, the line or whatever. So we are just going to try not to get too much Mod Podge up there where I don't want it. We can go over it after. And I got a glue web stuck to my paintbrush. How did I even do that? I didn't use the glue yet. <laughs> All right, so let's put a nice thin coat on here. Get this thing started. Hopefully I have as much luck as I did with the other one. All right. So there we go. Now we're just going to line this little U up here first. Whoops, nope, first, I'm totally wrong. First, we're going to take this one ply off of here. That would have been a mess. All right, we're going to line that up here because these pieces here can tuck down in and we can get down in there to sand them off. There, perfect. All right, so let's see if we're going to get this to lay down nicely. Yay. All right, that worked out pretty good. And now we're just gonna go over it, same thing. Figure I get these going here first. That way these can sit on the side here and dry while we are working on the other little guys. They're gonna be real easy because we are just adding some uh, embellishments to them and uh, they're gonna be real cute. Now for this, I'm actually going to go over the top here uh, because that is very, um, was that a matte paint? I didn't even notice. Yeah, it is matte. So since I'm using this gloss here, I am going to go over that paint. All right, let me get these edges real good. Make sure I've got my, oops, somebody's outside, my husband's outside. Feeding the birds. <laughs> so what do you do? All right. I think that looks pretty good. I'm trying to make sure I get most of these little wrinkles out of here. Oh, they came out nice. That's great. I really thought that was going to give me a hard time. All right. So we're just going to go over this. Make sure I get my strokes going the same way here. Whoops, I pulled that one down. Back up we go. All right. So now I'm just going to add a little of this Mod Podge just to, you know, so it matches. Since that's a matte finish, we're going to make this a gloss finish. Just the front. I'm not worried about the sides. They don't have to be shiny. There we go. Just one thin coat just to shine that up a bit. All right, there we go. So, yeah, what are we going to put you, little guys? Let me make sure this is going down here. Hang on. I see me some creases. I don't want to mess with this too much more because I'm afraid it's going to rip since it's all nice and, whoops, all nice and wet. I don't want it to rip. All right, our edges are good. Okay, well, let's set you aside. You know what, I'm going to have to put you somewhere else because that's just going to be in my way here. Where am I going to put you, little guy, that's in my reach? There we go. Right there. That's fine. I think we can just slide this egg over here out of my way. You know what? I'm going to move these paints. You guys seen all of those. Um, 
Let's just get these out of the way. You know what? All right, I'm tidying up here. <laughs> just wanna make a little bit more room so I can stick this egg over here out of my way. All right, instead of drawing those little sleepy eyes on here, I found these gemstones. These are actually bling stickers. I guess they were made for like graduation caps or whatever. Um, these are, does it say what size? No, of course not, why would it? Mm -mm. I don't know, I wanna say this is like an eight, 10 millimeter um, little gem stickers. And then I just painted them with some matte black paint so I can use these for eyes and stuff. So much easier for me since I do not have the steadiest stuff hands right now um, to paint. So I don't even wanna try that, do it and mess it up. We are just going to put a little hot glue on here because these tend not to stick that great because a lot of, for some reason, a lot of the glue comes off with it. So I'm going to put a dot hot glue on there and then we're just going to put that little eye right there. I think that's so cute. And then what we're going to do is take a Sharpie because that's what I want to use to do a lot of like little detail stuff here. And I'm just going to make like a little smiley line here on our little duck because we want him to be happy. We want a happy duck. <laughs> so I think I'll go over that a couple times. Make it a little bit wider of a line. All right, leave it alone now before I mess it up. Look how cute. And since she's gonna be a pretty little girl, we are gonna add just a few little eyelashes. How stinking cute is that? You see your little eyelash? There we go. Little eyelashes. All right. And then for her, I decided, because I'm going to put a bow on the bunny, too. Um, I just tied just a regular little bow, like you would tie your shoes, whatever. Nothing fancy here. Um, and I'm going to put this up on her head. I think that'll look cute up here. I think I'm going to make these a little bit shorter. Scissors. Just a little bit shorter. stay in the front. I want you facing forward here. If you don't want to, I'm going to make you do it anyway. <laughs> Not that much. I may have to make another bow. I'm really getting this one all glued up. No, I think it'll be okay. I'll just pick that off once it cools down. But I just didn't want those things quite that long because I don't want it to go by her eyeball. I do want her to have a pretty, pretty bow. Uh, yeah, you know what? I may just make a new bow. We're just gonna put this on here temporarily. I'll just put a tiny bit of the glue here so I can pull it off, and maybe I'll replace it after. But just to keep going here on the video, we gotta get done. And I think, yeah, I got so much glue on this thing, it's gonna have to get fixed, I think. But I'll see, once it cools down, see if I can get it picked off. But there, that is our little duck. That's all I'm doing to this little guy, girl. Um, you could even give her some rosy cheeks if you wanted to, or, you know, like, draw some more stuff in there for feathers or whatever. I'm just gonna leave this more plain. And look at that giant glue web. Okay, for the bunny, I cut out a piece of this. Where is this ribbon that I'm showing you here? This is from the Crafter Square. This is um, a 3 8 ribbon. I'm so happy that they have this out now in all different size ribbon, not just the big stuff. Um, this is like a satin ribbon with the polka dots. So that's what I'm using on both of these little projects. So this one's going to go, I cut a piece just to fit around the neck. Um, we're just going to glue it down here front, that around there, make sure I got it going the right way, I'll cut that off a little bit, all right, I'm just going to wrap that around there, and I'm going to add another little bit of glue to this, and glue that down there, there we go, and then again, I made another little bow. This one I made a little bit bigger because I want it to hang down a little more. So we're gonna add a cute little bow to this one. Cover up where we just put that seam. Whoops, don't slide away on me now. 
I am making a glue mess today. Come off of there. All right, I'll pick the rest of that off there when it's cool too. Ugh, let me do enough of picking off glue. I have to get out my heat gun and just blow that off of there. But there's this cute little necktie here, whatever you want to call it. And then I got one of these. Um, these are the bigger ones from the Crafter Square section. You get 18 in here of these bigger, they call them pom-poms, but they're for little bunny tails. Um, all right, we're just going to glue that right here. I just want to make sure it's not touching down there because I don't want to, I want to stand up nice. All right, that's good right there. I have to put a little more glue back here to lay this down nice. There we go. So now we got our little bunny tail. And now we need her little eye. These are just so, I mean, you could decorate these up so much more if you wanted to. You know, it's just, all right, here's our little eye. Put that up here. That looks good right there. She's really coming together now. And then I figured she needed to have a carrot. So we're going to put this carrot on here. I might make these a little bit shorter too. Just because they're kind of going to be in the way. There we go. Get off there. Ah, Rosie, my son kind here. She sees something outside. Probably a bicycle or a stroller. It's a nice day. There's probably somebody outside walking with a stroller. But anyway, oh, Rosie, please stop. Um, I'm just gonna put some glue down this. These are actually the carrots that I got at Dollar General. I love these, I've been wanting to use these for something. So I figured this would be nice to put right there in her hand. Um, what was the package? Of yeah, these are a dollar. You got six of them for a dollar in the Easter section at Dollar General. So, oh my goodness, I wish she would stop. All right, now let's take our little Sharpie here. We're gonna give her a little few eyelashes. I'm just gonna, nothing fancy, just a couple little eyelashes there. We're gonna give her a few little whiskers here. On her face, here we go. And then I'm just going to put a line here just to divide these. Oh, Rosie, please. I'm going to have to go out there and see what's going on. Just to divide these ears. So it makes a little definition there. Because this one's facing that way. This one's facing forward. You know. Oh, my goodness. I don't know what is going on with her. Let's give her some little toes, too. And maybe some little thing. Well, her fingers are behind the carrot. But we can pull them up. Here we go. Oh my god, my African Grey's out there going, shut up, be quiet. He's so funny. All right, that is it for those guys. Those are guys are done. So I'm going to set them over here. I'll take a nice picture of all this stuff when we're finished with everything. So my Mod Podge is still nice and wet. So we're just going to put the eyes on this guy here and nose. Um, yeah. I think I'll do the nose first. That way I can kind of judge where I want these eyes. Because that's all they have. There's just a black nose and two black eyes. It's centered. I'll hold you up here. That looks pretty good. And then we just need to add the eyes. Oh my goodness. I can't believe she's still yelling. I don't know what she sees out there. My husband's out there doing something. I don't know what. But she's having a fit. Whatever he's doing out there. Maybe he's cleaning out the bird bath, the hose. It's right by their window. Um, I don't know. I'm guessing. Oh my goodness. I'm going to put this eye on here. Then I'm going out to see what she is having a fit about because it's annoying, I'm sure, for everybody, including myself. <laughs> yeah, nope, she's not done. I was going to say maybe she's done, but she's not done. All right, let's get this other eye on here.
All right, so there's our little peep face. Um, just, that's it. That's all there is on a peep. Oh, here's the little tag. I mean, that's pretty much, whew, come on, focus. Um, pretty much it. It's just a nose and two little black eyeballs. So, well, that's all we're doing for that. Yeah, I love these stickers. I've used these a lot. I think I used them on some snowmen and stuff, too. I've used them like crazy, so I'm going to keep an eye out for these again because these were for graduation, so if you wait till after all the graduations are done, you can usually find this kind of stuff, you know, on clearance. So let me set this little guy over here because we're going to be using some moss and stuff, so I figure we're just going to wait until we get these done. Oh, my goodness. All right. Let me bring my carrot back over here to dry. I'm going to go out and see what she's doing. And then as soon as these dry, we'll come back and I'll show you how we cut all this excess off. Okay, these are all nice and dry. This one I already went around with the nail file. I'm going to show you how I did that on the other one there a little bit. Because it's an awful noise, so I don't want to do a lot of it on uh, camera here because it's awful. Actually, this came out really nice up here, so I don't think I have to do a thing to touch that up. But look how cute that carrot is. I love that. I'm going to have it sit like this way out with my Easter stuff here. Now, here's the egg. I went all the way around most of it here. I saved the bottom here because, it, you know, it all hung off like, like this far all the way around. So all you're going to do is take a nail file. I went all the way around with it already. Just saved the bottom here to show you guys. And you're just going to like go down like this on an angle. You don't want to ever push up because you could, you know, wreck your image here. So you just go down, just go real quick. It's really easy. There you go. You're done. And you have a perfect, perfect edge. I love this one. This is so pretty. I'm not doing anything else to this egg. It's just going to be just like that. So yeah, I'm loving this Dollar Tree napkin. I think it's really pretty. So there is that. You can put a little, I might actually, that's a good idea. I might get some raffia or something and put around here. But anyway, I'm going to draw just a few little lines in here just to make this more leafy looking. Um, just put a few little, little lines in this. Um, it's so shiny here, I can't see what I'm doing. And just put a few little lines to make it and then you can go over it with more Mod Podge after that dries if you want to. I don't think I'm even going to bother doing that, but I think that looks real cute. I like that. So, yeah, that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to bring this out a little bit more. There we go. I don't want to mess with it too much and mess up. But, yeah, just a few little lines on there to make it look a little more leafy. And there you go. You have a really, really cute carrot. All right, so those guys are pretty much all done. Like I said, if I can find my raffia... That's another question. You know what? Since I cleaned, started cleaning up this craft room and getting organized, I can't find anything. <laughs> All right, now for this guy. What's going to be messy with this guy is I'm going to put some moss down here on here, on this thing. And I'm going to use some of the reindeer moss, my favorite kind, um, from Dollar Tree. I don't dump it in one of these little tubs. It's just so much easier to work with. So we're going to add moss to this. Not a ton of it, but let's see. Let me get some of this out. And we're just going to go all the way around this thing with some of this moss. So whatever doesn't stick, I'll pull off after because we're going to be adding some flowers and things to this. But I thought this would be cute. I love this stuff. It's so easy to work with. I hope that didn't cool too much. There we go. And I don't want too much in the center there because I want to be able to stick those flowers through there. And they'll have the edge here to um, glue on to real good. But yeah, I thought this would be a real easy way to do this without using that horrible mesh that they have at Dollar Tree, because I don't care for that at all. And the other stuff's quite pricey, so. Um, and I thought you'd be able to see the, the little bunny a little bit better too. So let's finish going around here real quick. Put some of this here. Some of this here. I got it going all over the place. And like I said, whatever falls off, falls off. I don't even care because we're going to mix in the flowers um, and it'll be just fine. You could use regular glue if you wanted to. I'm using hot glue just so we can get this done quick. If you wanted to use like a different glue um, and let it dry, that would be a good idea too. But just for time's sake, we're just going to hot glue this on here real quick. And then pick off whatever's not going to stay. Like you can see that's going to come right off of there when we're done. 
but this is a real quick way to do it. Easy peasy. Favorite DIY projects are easy peasy ones. Whoops, I need a little more hot glue here. And if you need to fill in more after we get the flowers and things on, I mean, you can always go ahead and do that afterwards. Um, not a big deal, however you want to do this. If you don't like the moss idea, well, you know, you can use the mesh. It doesn't matter. matter. All right, so... Oh, I almost dumped that whole thing. So that is what's on here. I need a little drop of glue here. Glue that back in there. All right, there we go. And like I said, if you really want this to be sturdy for outdoors or something, you definitely want to get two of these and glue them together. But yeah, most of that's stuck on there pretty well. Just kind of go like this, see what's going to fall off. I think that's going to end up falling off. Let me cover up that corner because I know that's probably going to end up showing on me here. Oops, sorry guys, I had to get out of camera here. There. And that's better. Okay, so there is our moss that's on there. Now let me get this mess out of here. That's why I said I wanted to do this one last because the moss is messy. Alright, let me get this stuff back in the bucket. It's left here. All right, so then I picked out some pretty flowers uh, from Dollar Tree, and then I'm going to be using, of course, my favorite boxwoods here, maybe to fill in a little bit. I don't know. We're going to see how this looks. And then I have a bunch of these pretty, pretty lilacs. I have some white ones, and then I have some purple ones. I didn't have, I have some pink ones, but they're much bigger, and they don't, look as nice. So I figure I'm just going to stick with these. Where are my wire cutters? That is another question. Here we go. So I'm just going to cut a few of these off. And let's, I should have left the leaves on there with it. Let me pull them up. There we go. Let's leave the leaves on. That'll actually fill this in a little bit more. Put back in there. There we go. I'll leave those leaves on. I'm going to glue that on there so make sure it doesn't come off. All right. Next ones I'll know better. <laughs> there we go. Leave the leaves on. And I don't know how many of these I'm using yet. We're going to find out here in a second, though. I don't know where. I had a bunch of daffodils, too. I don't know where. I don't know. Maybe I used them all because I was using. Oh, there's some up there. I see them. All right, so if I want to put some of those in, I'm going to grab those. Get a couple purple ones here. And there we go. I'll see from there. So I'm thinking, let's see. I'm not going to glue these in yet. I'm just going to kind of, maybe I don't want all those leaves on there. I don't know. So I want these to kind of lay this way. Oh, that might work. Purple one. Wow, I left a lot on that one. This purple one down here. Yeah, I think it would look pretty with some of the daffodils in there. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so that's where this one's going to go. Put a bunch of hot glue on here so it sticks on these railings. That one there. And then this guy's going to go down here. that rail. There we go. Are you on it? Almost. All right. So now we got a purple one down here. I'm really thinking the daffodils are going to really make this, honestly. So let's get this one over here. Down here. Put this purple one on the top. we're going here so far. We got those two in there. Um, I think I am going to add some of this boxwood in here just to kind of add a little bit more fullness to this. 
And I think I'm going to have that one go in the opposite direction. And glue that one right down in there. Just a little filler. I think this stuff, this boxwood, you can use this stuff for anything. And this was only like a dollar, I don't even know what it was, a dollar eighty-nine or something like that. Um, I just ordered some more of it the other day. And I was surprised. I thought it was more than that. But you know, a little of it goes a long way. All right. So I have some of that there. And then let's see. We're going to put some more of these in here. Put this one down here. Why am I leaving some of these so long? I don't know. <coughs> but put this one down here. Yeah, I definitely, I gotta find those daffodils because I really think they're going to make this um, look really pretty. Need some more white. one up here. Yeah, definitely, definitely going to find this. Am I gluing it to the table yet? <laughs> nope. I'm doing all right here, guys. I'm not going to glue it to the table yet. All right. So this one I want up here. Don't want to cover up the bunny. That was the whole issue with that mesh. It, it just covers up too much of the bunny. So, like a little peep. All right, now I need to find those daffodils. And actually, they're right here behind me. So, well, I thought I had daffodils. These are what? Forsythia just as good. I just need a little bit of yellow in here. I'll leave that leaf on there too. I just want some yellow. I think it needs some yellow. Let's see, is that going to be too tall? Maybe. Maybe I'll have to do without the leaf. It's going to be too tall. But I'm going to stick just a tad of yellow in here. Yeah, that's good right there. Oh, that one's not stuck to the board. There we go. Just a peak of yellow. There. You could put a bow on this too if you really wanted to. Um, I just want one more of these. I don't want a lot of yellow, just a little bit of yellow. You could add some carrots in here if you wanted to, or some Easter eggs, anything you want. So many things you can do with these little wreath rails. All right, let's see. Is that gonna be in about the right spot? Let go. Oops, see that I glued to the table. Dang it. All right, now I gotta re-glue you because you're just glued to the table and you're glued to nothing now. All right, I'm gonna get you glued back in here. On to the rail. Glue to the rail. <laughs> All right, so now what am I gonna do about this center? I don't know. Do I wanna put some more boxwoods in there? It's gonna have to have a flower of some sort. Maybe some of these sticking up a little bit. I think that would look cute sticking up like that. Yes, definitely. All right, that's going there. You kind of figure it out as you go. All right, and then let's see. I may have to put a couple more of these in here. I think just the flower part. I think that will work to fill that in. Yep. We're just eliminating the 
leaves on this one. That one to go that way. Like so, and then I can get this one to kind of come down from there, I think. All right, let's see. Let's get some glue on here. We can move it around a little bit. Or maybe I want them both to go up. I think I do. All right, get in there. All right, that fixed my problem for the center. Now I think I'm just going to add a couple more little pieces of this um, boxwood just to kind of fill in down here. I think that will be perfect. And voila, I think I am done with this now. Nope, I need a little something in there because I can see right through it and I don't want to see right through it. So another piece of box will fill that in nicely. Where did I see that? Right here. Yep. There. And that is that. And that is all I'm doing to my little wreath rail. Now I just have to need to put a hook on the back. I think I'm just gonna take a piece of jute string. Um, let me grab that real quick. There, I got it. <laughs> just gonna take a piece of this jute string, tie a little knot in it. And it's, oh, come on fingers, there we go. Oh, I actually got it. Yay, just so there's a little, nice little loop to hang this. And you could decorate your little peep up if you wanted to, but I'm just going to leave it as a plain little peep. Got most of that glue back off of there. All right, so let's see. I didn't do the back. If you guys want to do the back, you can, but I mean, it's going to be hanging on a wall. But I mean, if you were gifting this to somebody or whatever, if I was making it for someone else, I would definitely finish up the back of this. Um, let's see. I think right about here, we'll put this little hook or whatever you want to call it, little loop, right about there. And I always use a lot more than I need just to make sure it's going to stick on there good. These are really light, so I don't think you have to worry about it like falling off. Um, and then I like to go across it a little bit here, put a little glue on top, and then we're just going to let that sit and dry. And that is it. That is our little wreath rail that we're doing here. Um, so now we got all these little guys done. I am going to clean up this mess. I will take some nice pictures here to put at the end of the video, but I wanted to get these done and share these little projects with you guys today. So thanks so much for watching everybody. I will see you guys all next time. Have a great day everyone.